Hey everybody, it's Mark, the Family Woodworker. Hey, this week we take a rusty and destroyed flea market camp axe and we turn it from this into this. Stick around for the transition, it's pretty cool. I picked up a couple of early Christmas presents at a flea market, though an axe or a BB gun probably wouldn't be a great gift for a nine-year-old. Ho, ho, ho. No! But I thought this old hatchet needed some love and attention. With a little sanding, I could just make out a logo that said Norland, but I didn't know anything about the maker. I happened to find this great YouTube site, Killing Your USA, out on YouTube for more detail on this particular axe, and it was made from 1968 through the mid-80s. First, I needed to cut off the rolled-over lip of steel from the butt and alternated between a sanding disc and a hard grinding wheel to remove the initial rust. I dig the slow-motion fireworks. This axe head was more damaged than I thought, with the rusted pits going pretty deep on both sides of the head. But I decided to continue grinding to get most of the damage removed. I knew I would be removing more weight from the axe head than I had planned, but that's the way it goes. Man, what a grind, eh? What, like nobody's made that joke before? Moving over to finer belt sanding, I worked from 600, then 800, and finally up to 1,000 grit paper to smooth out the grinding scars and polish, as best I could, both sides of the axe head. I didn't have a polishing wheel for my benchtop grinder, but this drill press attachment seemed to work out pretty well. While the original axe initially came painted, I like the polished finish on this one. Though the 1000 grit belt did a nice job on the bit, my diamond stone finished the edge pretty nicely. I could tell from the original product pictures that this was a replacement handle at some point, and even it was pretty destroyed. I cut off the damaged tip that fits in the eye of the axe head and started to shape up a new shoulder for the handle. My Japanese pull saw helped me cut in a new split for a wedge, and I'll cut and taper a thin piece of this black wenge wood to pound it in and expand the joint. Now it was time to hammer the handle into the head, extending the split up above the axe head eye. The weight and balance actually feels pretty good. There's a couple of thin gaps between the handle and the axe head, so I'll seal up the underside with some hot glue. From there, I'll fill up the gaps with epoxy before hammering in the wedge. This little boat building epoxy syringe helps fill these tight spaces. With the wedge hammered in place, I'll put the handle standing upright in my bench vise for 24 hours. The next day, it was pretty easy to remove the hot glue on the underside, and then use a Japanese flush cut saw to trim off the top of the axe head. Now on to some final finish sanding of the hickory handle, and the first application of Danish oil to seal it up. I wasn't sure what other campers or outdoorsmen prefer in terms of a sealer, but Danish oil is pretty easy to work with and easy to reapply years from now if it ever needed a touch-up. Aren't you done polishing that accent yet? Come on! But it's so shiny!
I also tried to gather as much of the grinder dust off my bench as I could to see how much weight I lost. If I was smart, I would have taken a before and after weight measurement, but you know. Don't! I weighed out 26 grams, or a little less than an ounce of this total grinder dust. And with dust still on the floor, I'm sure I ground off more than an ounce of steel. It actually feels pretty good in the hand. It's lightweight, and it would make for a great camp axe. It cuts pretty well, but I think I'll keep this one out of the garage and down in my workshop, as I work with raw tree stock and branches from time to time. Listen, I know it's early, but I wanted to get you something for Christmas. It's cool. What is it? It's the Norlin Voyager Camp Axe we've been working on for two days. Well, thank you. You're welcome. It actually looks pretty great up on my shop wall next to my other shop made hammers. See the card link at the top for that video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you're a subscriber and come on back for some more videos. Take care.